I am so glad that you are here with me today. If you can't come to Southbrook Church for Kids Church, I'm glad that we can meet together online. My name is Pastor Helen, and I'm going to share the lesson with you today. Let's start with our big idea. It's I am forgiven because God loves me. Let me say it again. I am forgiven because God loves me. Let's try to say it together. Just whisper it this time. I am forgiven because God loves me. Now this time, nice and loud so everybody in your whole house can hear it. I am forgiven because God loves me. Nice work. Forgiven is kind of a big word there. Forgiven is a fancy word. That means God helps us when we make bad choices, when we do bad things. God takes away those bad things in our hearts and helps us to make better choices next time. Only God can take our sin from our heart. But because Jesus died on the cross, God takes away, wipes them away, wipes away all the bad things that we do. Now, how does he do that? Well, that's a good question. We do have to do one thing, and that is we need to ask for forgiveness. I bet you know all about that. When you do something bad at home, does mom say, say you're sorry? Or when you do something bad at school, does the teacher say, tell your friend you're sorry? Being sorry is asking for forgiveness. Now, sometimes dad will say, tell your brother you're sorry, and you say, I'm sorry. Is that really being sorry? No, when we ask God or anybody for forgiveness, we have to admit that what we did was wrong and that we feel really sad for hurting God's feelings, for breaking his law, and hurting our friend or family. So that's what forgiveness is. When we do something wrong and we tell God we're sorry and we ask Jesus to forgive our sins, he will do just that. Because when I was a little girl, I knew I had done some bad things and it made me feel all icky inside. Have you ever felt like that? I didn't want anybody to know that I had done something bad, but I knew I had done something bad. And it kind of gave me a tummy ache, and sometimes it gave me a headache, and I kind of worried about it a lot. Then I heard this verse, 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and clean us from all unrighteousness. Confess is another big word, but confess just says that we understand that we have done something wrong, and then we ask for forgiveness. Did you know that when you do something wrong, God always knows. God knows when we do right things too, and that makes him so happy. But when we do wrong things, God knows and we need to tell him that we're sorry. We also need to tell the person that we hurt what we did and that we are sorry. You will find out that mom and dad are always going to forgive you. They love you so much that they will forgive you. So just tell them and then you won't have that icky feeling inside. Today's uh, psalm, remember we're doing songs, is Psalm 32. But before we get to that, let's look in our treasure chest and see what we have. Well, I'm over by the treasure chest. I'm going to take a peek. Oh, well, this is something you know. It's something red. What, what do you think might it be? An apple is red. That was a really good guess. What else is red? Somebody said a fire truck. Good idea, but not what's in our treasure chest. This 
one is something red that we see on Valentine's Day. You got it. It's a heart. My heart is actually pink, but I wanted to give you the red idea for a clue. So this is a heart, and I'm wondering what that might have to do with our story. Let's read our scripture and see what the Bible says about that. So I'm reading from my Adventure Bible, and it is Psalm 32. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I want to share a couple of verses with you, okay? Blessed is the one. Ooh, there's a word, blessed. Blessed means getting a gift from God, all right? Blessed is the one, the person, whose transgressions, ooh, that's big, transgressions. It just means the wrong things that we do. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them, and in whose spirit is no deceit. Deceit is bad stuff in our hearts. And then I'm going to jump down to verse 5. Verse 5 talks about confession. Remember saying that we have done something wrong? Verse 5 says, Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. Iniquity is another word for sin. I said, I will confess my transgression to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Then I'm going to turn to the last verse. Verse 11. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad, you righteous. Sing, all you who are upright in heart. When we've been forgiven, we can cheer and be happy because our sins have been forgiven. I'm going to show you a little thing that is going to help us understand what God does with our sin. So here is a nice, white, clean heart, very clean. Now, do you sin? The Bible says everybody sins. Let's think. Have you ever said a little lie? Mm, that made your heart dirty. Have you ever disobeyed your mom or dad? Ooh, that made your heart dirty. Did you ever break a rule, maybe at school? That makes your heart dirty. Did you ever say anything mean to anybody? Mm, that made your heart dirty. You see, we all sin. This is what Jesus does with our sin. When we confess, when we tell him we're really sorry for those things, this is what he does. He just wipes it away until there is no sin in our hearts and we are just like he wanted us to be in the first place without any darkness and sin in our hearts. There's nothing that we can do that is so bad that he won't forgive us. And that is our reason for celebrating. If you want to confess your sin, all you have to do is say a prayer and tell Jesus what you've done and how you feel about that. I also encourage you to say your sorry to other people when you've hurt them. Would you pray with me? Dear Jesus, thank you for promising that when we tell you about our sin and that we feel sad about our sin, that you will always forgive us. I ask that you would be in the hearts of each one of these children and that they would be brave and ask for forgiveness when they have done the wrong thing. I pray this in your holy name, Jesus. Amen. Bye. Have a great week. Hi, kids. 
It's time for our new memory verse. Have you been memorizing your memory verses and taking them in your Bible so that you can have them for later on? Remember in September we did James 1.5 and October we did Deuteronomy 7.21 and this month it's going to be in Proverbs. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. This is how I know salvation Jesus came and he died for me